Hello everyone, welcome to Widget Tricks. In this short video, we are going to talk about how we can create custom macros, uh, which is a new feature introduced in Dart 3.0 uh, in Google I.O. So let's go to the documentation first. Uh, here we can see that micro is in still experimental. You want to know more about macros, you can just go to the website and check out flutter.dev. But currently it's an experimental that is you cannot use in production and the API is still changing. Our aim here is to just explore how micro works and then uh, how we can create our own methods or function uh, using that. Uh, just be aware that it's experimental so just don't use in production and it might have some bugs or some changes in the future. So let's just get started. Uh, first what we are going to do is we'll create a new project uh, and it will be in Flutter. So let's just name it custom macros and yeah, the project is created here. Now we'll just uh, follow the documentation. I'll just increase this font size here, uh, font. So I guess it's, this would be fine. So we have a main here and then uh, wrap. So this has just barebone Flutter app. Uh, in order to make the macros run, uh, we need to go into the uh, master channel, which is not stable and it keeps changing uh, all the time. So what I'm going to do is uh, here in the documentation, it says that you have to go to the dev channel. So I'm using Puro right now, uh, just to make sure that I'm uh, using master. So I'm, I will use uh, Puro Flutter, uh, sorry, Puro use use master sorry we'll just use puro use master so what it'll do is it use my switch environment to the master so if i uh, go and check my id it will uh, it will use the master channel of the flutter so currently which is uh, where i can use macros i'll just uh, disable uh, completion here so yep yeah, so this is how uh, we switch to the master. It it might be different for you. You might be using FVM or something else or just like basic product command. Uh, it's up to you how to use it and make it configurable in the ID. So here uh, I have a main and then we'll go here. And it says that it should be uh, SDK version 3.5.2. So let's just check that. So I'll just use Guru Flutter minus minus version. So if we see it's 3.26 and 3.60 uh, Dart tool version, so that's fine. And then uh, uh, what we need to do is we need to add this into the analyzer. So we'll go here and we have this analyzer here. I'll come down here and just add a um, enable experiment as a macros. And then uh, in order to run that, we need to run this uh, using this flag. But we'll come to that part later. But what we want to do is I'll just create you know, one of the useless macros ever is just basically uh, just to show an example that I want to create, I want to log each field in my class. So I'll create a micro for it. Uh, so let's say I'll create a call, I create a file called degree and it would be degree and then it will have a, uh, what you say, a double uh, cell and I'll just create a constructor for it okay I'll just make it a uh, name constructor so it's just easy to read so yeah and now I'll create just a void main function just to make sure that our degree is running perfectly so I'll just create a degree here uh, with Celsius let's say 31.0 and then I want a method which basically will have some called log uh, Celsius and whatever parameter I create, uh, it will just log those value. I know it's useless. You can directly use uh, degree to string, but uh, uh, this is just uh, trying to, you know, experiment with uh, macros and how it works. So, yep, uh, uh, we want to do that. So in order to do it, uh, first, we need to make sure that uh, 
we have micros working in our app uh, in our app so currently since it's experimental it's not coming in the language by default so you have to use an external package for it so what i'll do is i'll use uh pop spec yaml here and uh, i'll use a package called micros which comes with that uh, and i'll use that micros and then also i need to uh, enable my sdk version to support the latest one uh, so currently it's already 3.6 point dev so i think that would be fine let's see if, if it doesn't work and yeah that's it i'll do uh, puro flutter pub get so that it will get from the master and now uh, in order to create a macros uh, first we need to create a class called log dot dot and it will hold our uh, macro now i'm going to use a keyword called macro uh, and then uh, I think uh, class log right and then I have to have a constant constructor here now you can create a macro like this but you what you want to make sure you want to make an implementation on where this macro will be used so macro can be used on different places it can be used on function it can be used on uh, class here it can be used on uh, a variable here so it can be used something like here on the variable it can also be used on the uh, class level so we want to use at a class level so i'll use let's say example log here uh, and uh, so let's say I import it here and when I use a log here it should have a method for each this whatever parameter uh, whatever uh, parameter I have in the constructor I want to have a method for each uh, parameter and want to log it so I'll just go to the log here and then there are a lot of uh, different uh, classes available in uh, micros so for example uh, if you come and uh, check it here there are different type of micros available for library micros uh, function type micros and all those uh, different different micros but what we need is we, ne we need a on a class level micros so I'm not sure what is the name here so I'll just use class declaration micro so I want this micro to be used so that I can declare on the class so I'll come here and then I'll just use this uh, we need to import from the package micro and it also requires some method to implement it so yeah I have two method here and it's just unimplemented and it takes future so something takes time to run it so i'll just use the sync here now what we want to do is uh, you want to like uh, let's say i want to have a method automatically printing the value of the celsius so i'll use for example log celsius i want this method to be generated automatically and how how would we do that so i'll just uh, uh, comment it here for now because we don't have that method so i'll come into the log and the first thing is like in order to make to understand this you need to understand some vocabulary around how uh, a programming language works like what is a member what is a class what is a function type uh, and all those things uh, i am also not that proficient in it but i'm still learning as i'm going through it so the first thing is you need to get the uh, first you need to get the all the fields and then based on that field you create a method out of it what i'll do is i'll just create a final field variable here and then i'll take all the fields from it so i'll just use a builder dot <coughs> of class fields of uh, class so what it'll do is it take all the feed from the class which we have here which is in is degree and then it will take all the fields of it and we want to iterate each field and then add a method for each one okay so i'll just go here and it will have a field i don't know it will be final or not uh, okay i have to await it here so i have to wait it since it's an await function so i'll await it here and then uh, first i need to get the name of that field so i'll use a name uh, called f dot it called identifier and it will call name so it will give the name of that variable now i want to capitalize the uh, first variable so i'll just use name uh, what I, I'll, I'll do is name dot first letter uppercase plus uh, name dot uh, so i'll just use uh, so i'll just use substring uh, one okay 
so it will just add all the cap cap capitalized okay now come the fun part where we are going to write that function so i'll just use a rough a plan on how we can write that function so for example um, in the degree we want to have a function which logs the value so the function should look like like log celsius and then it going to print um, macros uh, variable name and then it will just print celsius okay now just take this as an uh, uh, prototype of how you want to write a function using macro so we are manually writing it but if once we have the macro in place it will be automatically generated for it so i'll just uh, keep this in mind and just uh, i'll just copy it so that we can see it here okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a uh, builder here and then uh, declare in type and we'll use declare as a from string so what we want to do is we directly want to write a code from the string itself we are just using the raw string but there are other parameter available here you can use that from parts from string and other things but from just simplicity sake we are just using string so it will take a string and write the raw code there okay so what we want to do is uh, i'll just come here and i'll just try to prototype it as we go so i'll just use void and log and since we want to name this as a uh, uh, variable name uh, i'm using uh, capitalize and then we need to have a parenthesis here this parenthesis and then we have to have an open bracket and close bracket uh, for our function to start and end and then we need to have a, a print function there which will be open and close and then we'll have a single line code there uh, where we'll add a macro uh, or I need to th take this as a double quote so that we can work on a single quote. So I'll just use a macro uh, variable and we'll use a va variable and we'll use the name uh, directly name here. And then we want to print the actual value. So it, in actual value, it's also required a dollar to print it. So we'll use the dollar and then the dollar which we are concatenating here right so yep uh, we have written all that function and it requires a semicolon in the end so i'll write a semicolon in the end now i'll just hit save and i'll just commit here and if i see i should have a log celsius method right uh, here and if you go to that log celsius it says that it create an augmented class for that same degree and have this method there so we don't have uh, i mean augmented is a whole different concept you can learn on that official documentation but it basically try to have a different same uh, a clone of it with additional method we define in the macro and it merge it all together and here we define micro value as celsius and it's having a celsius now in order to make sure that what we have done is running uh, we'll run this and it says it's failing uh, micros language is not enabled so what we need to we need to go to this run uh, edit it and then I'll just add a enable experiment equal macros okay it's just an extra parameter which we needed which we I think we saw here now this is the parameter which we need in order to run it so that is all needed in the ID so now I run it and now it's basically print a variable called macros uh, variable Celsius 34 now uh, we have this method and our macro is working fine and if we add another let's say a parameter called place right i want to have a place for the degree uh, i mean for that i want to have a place where this uh, weather has been shown so i'll just use place here and now i need two parameter here so i let's say i'll say uh, place uh, and I'll say Mumbai okay so now it's there now if you see and come here you will see you will have another method called log place now we don't need to write this every time whenever you add a parameter it will automatically create it for you now if I run this 
uh, it will print both like the variable celsius and the place mumbai which we have defined here so that way you can write a lot of functions which might be you know duplicated or you want to add it um, so yeah uh, just to test, test it out i can also have some uh, int id in order to make it unique uh, and then we can have uh, maybe i can just add it as an optional here so it can have and not have so i'll just use here as an optional and now since we don't have anything here uh, i can also what do you say call this same thing and log id right and then i'll run it and it says id but the value is null so we don't have any value so it's printing null so yeah that's it i mean that's how you create um, custom macros uh, i know this is the most one of the useless macros you can ever create but the uh, whole agenda of this video is to teach how these macros work uh, in general so yeah uh, thank you and uh, have a nice day also if you are a flutter developer who has just started their journey and are at the beginner level and want to advance their skill set you can also check out my classes which i run on weekend called effective flutter dev uh, classes check out the link uh, for more details so yeah also if you want to learn flutter by doing then i have created a new substack called flutter challenge where i'm going to send weekly exercise in your inbox from 1st of november so if you want to get those flutter challenges then please subscribe on flutterchallenge.subscribe.com thank you and if you like this video then please like share and subscribe